So, um, yeah, so let's start with the insights. So, my sense of uh, today's proceedings was that it was a very good survey of all the available tools on thinking about technology portfolios and innovation portfolios. So, um, for those who talk about the company as a set of technologies, today's proceedings kind of laid out a few different ways of thinking about it, starting with a product mapping and a technology mapping to an innovation uh, portfolio of options and then to an innovation tournament where you put the ideas together and then map them onto different levels of uncertainty. So I think there were three main tools that we had and then we also heard from the last speaker who was a venture capitalist who was essentially saying that for his decision making he felt that he had to take each venture on its own merits and not worry so much about the portfolio. So I think that was a very rich set of insights and for me it suggests that if you're a venture capitalist probably you should go with the actual technology itself and the, and the merit of the venture because you'll only have a few investments and he was saying that if he has 30 investments he's reasonably hedged so that's one sort of category of insights. If you're running a large corporation then you need to decide how to allocate resources. So you're going to have to then think about which technologies are more promising and why. And I think in that sense, the real options idea of looking at uh, some options that are relatively close to home in technology and in market and some options that are further from home and a, and a kind of a mix of those is sort of a second insight. And then the third insight where there was a lot of debate was that for those that are in brand new markets and brand new technologies, maybe firms have to be very cautious. And this is where I think we connected with the previous conference and said that in those kinds of uh, investments, you should probably have an ecosystem of partners so that you can actually work with a set of collaborators. And as the uncertainty begins to resolve, then you decide what you want to own and where you want to invest. So I think those were the main insights. Um, how how do, how do pra best practices, strategies, and so forth differ from um, when you look at creating an innovation portfolio as opposed to managing an innovation portfolio? So I think uh, the venture capital perspective was very much on the creating front. You know, that how do you, you assess the entrepreneur, you, you have those six uh, different types of customers he was talking about. You know, and of course that was in healthcare, but I think in most markets you would have some of those customers. You'll have possible future investors. You have, of course, the current customers who might be present, uh, the customers whenever the product gets to the market. You have possible collaborators. You have regulators. I think he had two more, the payers and um, other possible partners. So I think in selecting innovations, I would say that what matters most is the venture itself and how robust it is and some of that has to do with the entrepreneur himself or herself and some of it has to do with this mapping so, so that's one the other insight that we got was if you map the technologies that are underlying the business you might see sources of technologies in other people's uh, firms uh, portfolios it could be outsiders or industry incumbents and then you can source them so that's the selecting part we have two ideas on selecting um, the venture capitalist idea and this mapping of the tree idea. And then when it comes to managing, I think what we learned was that you have to map, you have to make sure you have a balanced portfolio. You cannot just have all uh, products and technologies close to home.